Well, hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to Transport Fever 2 Live Let's Play Season 2. Yeah, we've done this before. We're doing it again. If you are new here or need a reminder, then down in this corner, that's when we're going to start actual the actual gameplay, just there, and in, in a bit, about six minutes time. So if you're not watching live, you can fast forward until that counter gets to zero, or if you can, if you need to, go make yourself a cup of tea, get uh, get comfortable, get ready because we're going to be uh, doing some uh, transport fever too. I'm looking forward to it. Good evening, hello. Fran the Man, Chief Bograt, DJ Egg, Wizard Brando, Chegso Kid, Above the Line, just to name a few. You can see down here in the bottom right-hand corner, the uh, the uh, pop-ups are going absolutely crazy. And that's because people have realised that the monthly giveaways are out. And there's a couple of corkers in there this month. So the official announcement is tomorrow on social media and stuff. But seeing as you lot are here... As soon as you're here and you're watching, uh, yes, we have got Dave the Diver and Train Sim World 4 both to give away this month. So if you want to be within chance of winning either of those giveaways, head over to the portal, portal.masterhellish.net. Uh, you need to log in, and if you haven't got an account, it's uh, free and easy to do so. Ah, that's better. I can see now. So the monthly giveaways, yes, the monthly giveaways are out. What else is going on? Let's have a look at my list. Oh, yes. So the official announcement for the mid-year charity live stream will be going out on Friday, which will be nice. Um, I've started planning, making arrangements. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to absolutely smash last year's target. I have no idea whether that will happen or not. But if it does, I might end up with pink hair. We'll see. We didn't quite make it last time. And it's probably good. Uh, Chegs to Kids says looking forward to June. Yeah, June 1st. Yes, I've been talking to some of the Viewer Plus subscribers. That's right. Uh, we've got Viewer Plus around here. You know, this co you, should, you, should, you know, this content. This content is supported by Viewer Plus. Yeah? Um... So yeah, it is supported by you. I did some calculations today, actually. It's the end of the tax year here in the UK pretty soon. So I've got to get my taxes in order. You know, I do all this legitimately. Um, and one of the pieces of information that I get in addition to my taxes is like income from the various different revenue streams. So I will I will actually see if I can find that because I, I was working on that. And I like, I like talking about this because it... It's transparency, isn't it, eh? I can't find I can't find it. Where is my account? Oh wait, I found it. I found it. Here we go. I think. Yes, that, that is the right document, but not the right page. Ah, here it is. Okay. So um Yes, so out of Viewer Plus, YouTube, Twitch donations and the store i've got five different income sources for hellish um viewer plus made up 54 percent of the income over the last six months so that just goes to show how important viewer plus is to keeping things going around here because you know we've got uh web hosting expenses cloud storage payment processing services new hardware and software games store samples contract work for art and editors prizes and adverts and all that sort of stuff um and of course you know if i can make some money out of this it might mean i'd be able to put more time in more time more and better content of course so thank you very much to all the viewer plus subscribers so what was that we've got to the giveaways Event announcement tomorrow. Thanks to the Viewer Plus subscribers. Oh, at the weekend, you're going to get an open TTD video uh, on Saturday, I think it is. It's one of those ones where it was an old event and we've got the event and bundled up into a nice little highlight video for you. So I hope everybody enjoys that. Uh, what else? Um, oh, start of a new mini series on Sunday, I think. Uh, we're going to have. A let's play from a game that I haven't done a let's play of before. That's all I will say. <laughs> I will say no more. 
um, on that topic. Wow, we have skipped a lot of live streams in, in March and April already. Uh, but we've got some extra ones coming up as well. So watch out. Um, on April the 19th and 20th, we will be having three bonus live streams. I'm going to a mini LAN party and we're going to be streaming Friday night, Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. So it's going to be cool. Secret. What's the secret? Oh, the secret. There is a secret. Is that the secret? I was speaking to the mods about a secret and that's not the secret. I don't think. I, don't, I haven't said anything about the secret. Shh. Secret. Uh, oh, oh, right. And I am almost ready to give details of the Hellish Weekend to public. Actually, scrap that. I'm not almost ready. I've already done it. <laughs> if you are interested in finding more about the Hellish Weekend, which we will be doing, head over to the Discord because there's an event uh, for it and it tells you all the public information that I've got to, to share about the particular event and it tells you what to do if you want to know more. There we go. Right, let's go into Transport Fever. If we want to talk about any more of those things, you can do. Uh, above the line says, I came across a trailer for an open TDD like game called Sinew Trans here on YouTube. I haven't played it yet, but it seems interesting. I've seen that. I've seen that game. Transport Fever is loading. You can hear the music in the background. Uh, yeah. Um, why did I pass up that game? Is a freeware open source transportation simulator the goal is to establish? Yeah, I can't remember why I passed that up. Like, I looked at it, reviewed it, and I was like, nah. And I don't know why. Maybe I need to have a proper look at it. Can one of the moderators make sure that it's on the fantastic free games list for checking out? Thank you. In Open TDD, can you show us how to properly set out a road station that has lots of vehicles that don't block each other? Daniel, we did that in Season 10. I can't remember the episode. I remember where it was on the map. There was a good one. Yeah, um, ask on the Discord if you can, Daniel. Ah, right, the game is nearly finished loading. Um, there was an episode of Season 10 where we implemented a new bus station type that we stole from, I think it was Sabre Psycho. Uh, it was brilliant. It is a really good one. Check it out. I don't know what episode of Season 10 it was, though. I remember where it was on the map. Don't remember uh, what episode it was. So, yes. Skip through season 10, try and find out where I'm building loads of bus stations. You could do that, or if somebody knows, or ask on the Discord. Hello, Mr. Steed. Welcome. Ah, game is loaded. Let's jump over to Transport Fever 2. Here we go. Here we go. Added it. What did Brandon add? Oh, there was one more thing. I'm sorry, folks. After this stream, we'll be having a game at gaming after party on the Discord. Uh, some of us are going to be playing PUBG. I think we've actually got one space left. So if you're interested in that, go to the discord we've got a, a looking for game forum and in there we've got PUBG tonight posts so um in theory me brandon bingus and maybe one other will be playing that after this live stream on discord okay oh you added a simul to the fantastic fantastic free games thank you very much ah right okay well oh we're getting wood yes okay and we're enjoying the music. Look at these bridges. I don't, I've never noticed these three bridges before. Over on this uh, corner of the map. Maybe... Could they be new? Nah, I don't think they're new. Okay. Old Tim Town is... Not growing. Okay, cool. Yeah, Fran the Man usually comes and watches the after party game. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. So last time we put in this intersection here, uh, this uh, this station that kind of replaced two other stations. And now we've got one big, massive railway line, which is making uh, a, a decent bit of money last time I checked. The, sh the ships aren't making money. 
but other things are. Uh, we keep paying off money. And we're going to keep doing that throughout today's live stream as well. Hi, Max. Welcome to the stream. Bonnie, welcome as well. Uh, what was we doing? Oh, yes, yeah, so the wood. We need wood. Okay, now, right. Let's, let's catch people up if you weren't here last time. We started a brand new railway line. Here it is. It's only a little one. Okay. And it comes out of here and it goes to this um, machines factory. Okay. You think it's episode 52 where I build the truck station? Thank you, Chexo Kid. Um, I, I remember the episode. I just remember, don't remember what number it was. And we're coming from this steel mill. Okay. So soon we've got to do the road infrastructure to supply the steel mill. That's what we've got to do. And over here, we need uh, we need the, the the planks, okay. And that's why this uh, live stream is on about getting wood. I wonder how many people have entered the monthly giveaways. Wow! At the minute, Dave the Diver is winning seven to six on the game giveaway claimingness. Fat middle-aged man, got wood. How's it going? Oh, you know what? That should be my nickname. I'm feeling very fat middle-aged these days. Although I I do get bloated sometimes when I eat too much bread. And we've had a party recently, and I ate too much bread. Um, I can't remember where all the wood was. Oh wait, 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 wait. Where'd my wood go? Oh no! Now I'm gonna have that song going around in my head. Some of you might know what I'm talking about. Element animations 500. Is it 500 chunks? Where am I would go? Uh, okay. So on this island, this is where the planks are going to be generated at this sawmill. And we've got a few forests. Uh, there's three of them. Although the forests are actually quite far away from the sawmill, I was going to use road vehicles, but I think maybe trains. You've got a Chinese takeaway. Nice. I will be... We've got a LAN party coming up. You maybe missed the beginning, but we've got a LAN party coming up soon. And I think we're going to have... Maybe Greek one night and Indian the next. We'll see. What about the Christmas song? Oh, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. Uh, or is it... Uh, oh, it's... Um, what's, in this, what's, what's in his sack or whatever it is. Yeah, I love like it. Brilliant. Probably the best song that they've ever done. Yeah, I mean, trains are a solid win, but we're relatively early game, and we haven't got a massive amount of money. Tell you what. Let's start with this bit first, and do the wood after, because this is going to be quicker and cheaper to do. So we'll do this first, while the money builds up. So what we need to do, we need to get uh, stuff into here. We need to build a very nice truck stop in somewhere around here. Now this is going to be a terminus station, so if we want to, the road can come around it. Hmm, you can't move them once they're built, can you? No, but you can configure it. So in theory, I could build it a bit more that way and chop off this end. Hmm. I won't do that though, I won't do that. Right, truck stop. I want a big, big truck stop. Truck station. Okay, that's big enough for now. And the problem is, is that a really good truck station is so expensive. Um, hmm. I think what we'll do, we'll put it as far away as possible. And then just work on it from there. Okay, so that's relatively cheap, right? But I immediately want to configure it and make it wider. So we'll put another cargo bit here and another cargo bit there. Okay, and I think that will be enough, right? Yeah. Hang on a second. Are you able to use boats to transport the planks and pick up the food from one end to the other? Yeah, yes, we're going to be using... I, yeah, the planks. Yes, we're going to be using um, boats for that. Uh, over... I tell you what. 
we've, we've got drawing mode. Let's use drawing mode. So here is the sawmill. We've got our three forests here. The forests will go to the sawmill. Probably by train. And then this is our machine shop down here. The machine place. So we'll be taking the uh, planks by boat. Okay. Through that journey there. That that will be the that'll be the boat journey, the ship journey. And then the resulting machine parts will just go out by train. Okay, so that's the plan. Yeah, trains are great and expensive real quick, yeah. But we'll see. Hopefully we'll actually have some boats that are making us some money. Um Yes, yeah, so we got the we're doing our truck stop for the coal resources and stuff first. Um I want to be able to put another road in behind it. Let's do here. What sort of road is that? Is that a street? No. No. It's a special road. It's none of them. Okay, never mind. Okay, we'll go out this way a little bit. And then we'll we'll see if we can configure an in and an out for this. So if I configure and then remove, I can remove the in. Do street access. Oh, I can't remember which way they go to load. I think we might have to wing it. And then see. Okay. We can always switch that round. Uh, let's bulldoze this road because that's a silly idea. Connect these two bits up. Go straight. Up. Why is that not snapping very well? I want it to snap. I want to. Right, what's this? Tools. No, I don't need trams. Okay, that'll do. They go right to load. I mean, as soon as I put the first one in, we'll be able to find out anyway. So my plan was to have one side do one, and the other side do the other. So we come out of here. Hang on a second, let's bulldoze that. Come out of here at a pretty much a right angle, right? Like that. Connect this up at a right angle. Well, pretty much. And then we just connect this up to this road. But do it in a triangle. Oh, I think we'll be able to use one bus stop. Oh, can we use one truck stop for all of them? Let's find out. So, truck stop. Mm, no, but we can use two truck stops. Okay, let's put the truck stops in first. Oh, biscuits. I didn't mean to do that. Let's try again. What button am I pressing? Okay, let's do it the way that I know. Rather than trying to be... There we go. So, um... I think for this one, if we do it... As far right as possible. There we go. Um, <laughs> Brandon's like, damn it, Hellish, now what's in my sack of stuck in my head? I was actually watching that not long ago. Um, I was just trying to remember the lyrics. Could it be? Hey, it's Santa. Something about my gifts there under the tree. Hmm. 
Yeah. Let's delete this road. Have a direct road. Now the reason why I'm doing a direct road, but the directness is to here and not to here, is because I want to leave a bit of space around here for potential expansion in the future. Um, kit me first. Oh, kit, kit, uh, hi Kit. Um, what do you think of, of this game compared to FTT? Trying to figure out which game to invest your time into. Ooh, time. I would say, if you've got this game anyway, play a little bit one, play a little bit the other, and see which one you like. Uh, it's basically, with a few exceptions and a few differences, a modern version of OpenTTD. I don't like how that's not the same distance as that. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this Oh no, don't don't delete the whole thing. No, what we need to do is configure it and remove these bits. There we go. Right, let's see. We've got a gap of about that much. So the road needs to be about here. Yeah, that's right. We we're using abouts. It doesn't have to be perfect, I just want it to be close. Okay. That's pretty close. Now if I configure this... Yes, it does connect. Good! That's better spacing. Nice. James, hello, welcome. Okay, so let's... Oh, hang on, we need a... And we can do the lines. We can do the line. Okay, new line. New line. What we're going to do, we're going to go here. And then we're going to go there. And then we're going to go there. Uh, no, let's get rid of that last one and just check the ordering. Right, so it's coming in. And ideally we want it on... So they're going that way. I think I've got these the wrong way around. I did say there was a chance. Didn't I? It's not a mistake. So that one wants to be in. What do you mean construction not possible? We just had one. It's been silly now. It's because I think it's put these junctions in. Ah, uh, yeah, it's because the junctions have been put in. There we go. Right, let's try again. So, that one wants to be in. And that one wants to be out. And then, this one wants to be out. I mean, it won't do it because of the... Oh, no! Is it going to be bad forever now? Can I delete this road? Oh, I can! Okay, I had no idea that that was an option. I thought that that was part of the factory thing. It's not. Okay, fair enough. Uh, out. In, out, in, out. Shake it all about. There we go. So now look at the route. There you go. It's a bit neater. The only problem is... It's still looping round, isn't it? Oh, I know what we can do. I know. We just won't use the innermost um, thingies. So, um, road construction. Oh, hang on. No, configure. Add uh, cargo platforms here and here. And then on the line, we'll get it to go to terminal... Which one's this? Ship and transfer. Terminal 1. There you are, look! There we go. It's usually picky. Yeah, the only problem is that I don't like now is we've got this crossing over. I 
I'm not sure that we've got a way around that. Hmm. Have we got a way around that? I tell you what. Let's let's do the other road while I think about it. So the other road is these three, and I reckon we can easily get these with one stop, right? So let's get a bit of road. And if we do... Something like this. And then... One there. One there. And we'll just do one to there for now. Will that just work? Oh, yes. Look at that. Miniature roundabout, possibly. Oh, maybe. Maybe. That might be a way to do it. So... I'll put that one in there. And we'll just tidy this up a little bit. So we'll get rid of these. Did I get a refund for that? No, you don't get a refund for it. Never mind. Oh, it'd be nice if you got a refund for the roads that you got rid of. I mean, I know they're not my roads, but... tidy things up anyway. Now we need to go all the way over here so we need a relatively direct route. It's going to go along the railway line which is a bit of a shame really because I needed to put another piece of track next to that railway line. Do I put the track in first? Yes. Let's put a little bit of track in. Make sure we've got enough room for later. So the idea is, is that I'm going to use this um, bi-directional line for multiple things. And we're going to go from about here pretty much straight out. Uh, you see, I don't want anything backing up and waiting on the main line. The one-way street doesn't ex exist yet, but you can use it later. Ah, I see. Raphael, welcome, welcome. Hmm. I think if I do this like this now, I'm going to cause myself some issues. Okay. We're going to have a line next to this line. And it's going to go out. Where's it targeting? It's going to kind of all of these places. So it's going to go straight through these woods. Okay. So that gives me an idea where the railway line will go. I think we'll probably use part of the town. Maybe. Okay. Let's get some streeting on. So from... Like, it's going to be... The railway line's going to be kind of like here. Hang on a minute. There we go. So the railway line's going to carry out somewhere across here. It'll probably go that way. There might be a split, and it might go that way too. I'm not sure. But I think that means that we need to, like, come out here with the road and cross it and then go into the town. Yep, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to come out from here, go straight across to there, straight across to there, link those two, and then link those two. Can I upgrade that? Let's have a look. There we go. So we're using the edge of the town to get there and back. We're going to need somewhere for our road vehicles to come out. I guess we should really do that around here. Let's 
get the line in again and see how that one works out. So we're going to go from there to here and back. Oh, wow. Well, that one, again, works quite well. <sighs> you know what? I think my problem would be solved if I turned the truck stop round. It will, won't it? If I turn the truck stop round... Well, uh... I'm like 80% sure everything will be fixed if I turn the truck stop round. Because look, if you look at what we got here... Hang on a minute. No, nope. Come out of that. No. Nope. There we go. We've got the crossover here on this side, and we've got a crossover here on this side. And they're going this way, and they're going that way. And I connected the tr truck stop here. So if I delete it and connect the truck stop here, that means this side will be out, and this side will be this way. Which means they will loop around that way, and there'll be no crossover at either of those junctions. I've convinced myself. Right. Let's have a look. Let's configure this. So we're still going to be going... We're going to be coming down on the right. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Demolish this. Right. Then... Put it back in on this side. Uh... Make sure it lines up. Lovely. Does that look in the middle or at least close? Mm, it's not close enough for my liking. Okay, let's try again. Oh, hang on, no, because we extend it backwards, don't we? Yes, how should we do? I want this to be right. There we go. There we go. Bulldoze this road because it's got some junctions in it. Put the road back in. Configure the station. Add the two extra bits. Bulldoze this bit. Do street access going that way. And that way. That way and that way. Um, I mean, it didn't connect up for some reason. Probably because I didn't get it in the middle. But it's allowing me to adjust that anyway. In theory... I mean, they're going to the wrong platforms, so let's fix that. I still call them platforms. What does the game call them? Terminals. It calls them terminals. Right, so then if I fix the terminals that they're going to... So at transfer, that one should go to terminal what on? Are you kidding me? Is it still heading in the same direction? I placed it facing the other way and it's the same. Is this, is this just a north-south polarity thing? No. Is there genuinely no way to turn that around? No. 
No, I don't want to move the one way over to the other side because then they'll be crossing over. It was going that way before, wasn't it? Chegzo Kid says the game takes the shortest route in and out. It's not what I'm talking about. It's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the polarity of these terminals. Okay? I'm gonna do an experiment now. Right? Let's let's Right. So, when you build one of these stations, right? Oh my goodness, what happened? The whole screen went white. I pressed another key there that I didn't know existed. Okay. All of the terminals on one side of the station go in one direction, and all of the terminals on the other side of the station go in the other direction, right? No matter what you do on the outside, okay? So everybody's saying waypoints, send them in a different way, send them out a different way. It doesn't matter because these terminals have a polarity, okay? And I am going to attempt to prove it. And it's going to cost me a quarter of a million again. But I don't care. Right? So if I build one here, and then I turn it round and I build one there, and I configure configure this to have a some street access here and then I configure this one to have some street access there I mean because they haven't got ins and outs it might not work straight away but you hopefully you'll, we will see without having to mess around too much right so Let's just ignore line two right now. In fact, we'll just delete it. Look at this one, okay? It's saying, did I unpause the game? I did unpause the game, sorry. Okay, so what it's saying right now, this line, is the polarity of this station is that this terminal is this way and this terminal is that way okay if we get it to use the other terminal that's what will happen there you are counterclockwise pathing Chexo kid has just confirmed it right so then if i change this to terminal two it will go to that one right this one Okay, if I completely change the station, even though I place the station in the other way around, it's still the same. Okay? It still has that way and that way, which we've just confirmed by building this experiment. Counterclockwise pathing. Arrgh! Why? I want a polarity to my stations. Okay. Um, knowing what we know, can we design a station that will work? So counterclockwise means that this side will be going that way and this side will be going that way. You can't change it. No, you can't change it. It's a, I've tried to work with it before. It's a pain. Which means vehicles on this side of the road will want to cross over and come in this way. Um, and vehicles on the way back will come down here, causing the crossover. This is doing my head in. I wish I could just change it. Why? 
Why is it counterclockwise? I. Oh, hang on. I was thinking if we sent these guys in this way, then it might be okay. But no, you end up with exactly the same problem. I mean, we could send these guys all the way around in here, out this way, and then there wouldn't be a crossover. But then we'll have this lot to contend with, and we'll have to do the same, and they'll have to come this way, that way, and we'll still have crossing points. Unless we use like a tunnel or something. Or separate stations. And I don't want to use separate stations. Am I going to have to use separate stations? I could use truck tr 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 drop off points. That's true. Chexo kid, waypoints will only help me direct the traffic around my no road network. I can't force them through the terminals the wrong way round with one-way roads and waypoints. Like I can uh, We've also got and we haven't got to pick up the goods here. We haven't got to pick up the goods here. I forgot about that. Uh, because we're taking them out by train. I think we're going to have to have two different truck stops. Right, we're going to have two, but I want to build them so they look like one. So... Bear with me a second, I'm working this out. Thinking mode, thinking mode. <laughs> Brian is like, this doesn't happen in TTD. No, it doesn't. Could get rid of the left platforms. Fran the man, I'm with you there. Right. That's not what we want. The entrance and exits need to be more central. Yeah, they do, don't they? Okay, and it won't let me do that because of the broken road. So, let's... Uh, Let's fix that. Configure, bulldoze, this and this. 
configure, bulldoze this and this. Come out of configure, bulldoze that, 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 and that. Right. Roads. I thought we were going to be doing wood today, but we're messing around with this. There we go. I wonder how much I've spent on just this. That road's a little bit off. But that's fine. I can I can manage that. It's never gonna. Well, I was gonna say it's never. Oh, construction not possible. Look how close it is. Arrgh. Right. Mental note. Make it a little closer. bit bendy. Oh, it's a different road. There we go. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Otherwise, steam will start coming out of my head. Oh. Right. And the other line. The other line. New line. Uh, where is it? Here. To there. Uh, it's going to the wrong platform. I think. Yeah. Do they both need terminals on the left, don't they? They do. idea da 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 there we go That's, that's not the right idea. <laughs> that was the wrong idea. Insanity set in. Don't worry, the game's paused. I really thought I had that, but I didn't, did I? Okay, before I delete anything. Yeah, it can't be done like that. Okay, never mind. I thought I was being clever. At least I get a good refund on this. That's a good refund. Did 
Did I just delete the wrong thing? Yeah, I'm currently building two stations and I'm going to make it look the way I want. It's a bit of a shame that we have to bulldoze roads to fix the streets so that we can then connect back up to them again. I want to get this right because I got this wrong in a, a previous Let's Play and it was a nightmare. There we go. I think this is what I meant to do, but it's not what I did do. And then if we want to have multiple platforms, we go like this for an overflow there, and we configure an overflow for this one there. There we go. Can we use paint tools to make the ground between them look better. Kind of. Yeah, we could we could do this. Well, bear me a second. If I use the square Oh my goodness, the square's the wrong rotation. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't think I like that. Oh, it's all off. Yeah, let's not use the square one. Let's let's just reduce the brush size. And this will make it all look like one. I hope this doesn't cost too much money. Oh, I need to know what the grass... Oh, that's not the right grass. That's, is that the right grass? Oh, no, which grass is it? That's it. There we go! Look at that! Just fill up the whole area. I could do, couldn't I? But I, I kind of... Maybe I could. Thank God we got there. Yes! Yes, you're close to a thousand hours and still struggle, struggle, with, st struggle with truck stops. Well, we, we can also put a uh, secondary uh, platform in. I think. There you are, look. So that they can load at the other one if the other one's busy. I don't know if another line in and out will help with that. Let's have a look. Nah, let, let's leave that. Let's leave it. Okay. Huzzah. How are we doing over here? Ah, oh, there's our... There, see, that one's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, okay, what's the line like in here? It comes in there and goes that way. Okay. And there's a backup. Can't really use the other platform as a backup, but that's fine. 
That one's getting all three, right? Oh no, it's not getting all three because we got rid of the road and we were going to re-add it. Yes. Wow. Glad I spotted that. Uh, there we go. Oh dear. That no longer accepts. Okay, let's do a more direct road. There we go, got it. Right, so we've got three there. Got these two here. And those two. Good, okay, now. Do I do a balanced thing here? Let's get the road vehicle depot. And I feel like it's appropriate to add it over here. So if we build this in future, we'll build it just like that, but further apart so we could potentially have more platforms in in future. So, and we could really do a truck stop tutorial based on that. There we go. Right. So what I'm thinking is that we modify this line so that we do two visits up here to one visit down here. So we go uh, full load, well not full load, we go load there. Well, do we do full load? Yes, we will do full load. Then we'll go here, then we'll go there, then we'll go here, then we'll go there. So then that is going to be a full load. Then we go to... No, that's not right. That's not right at all. We go to Annex, Unload. Then we go to South, Full Load Any, Annex, remove that last order. Um, annex, South, Annex, South, and then Annex again. There we go. And then on these ones, that's where we just need the second platform available. There we go. And this one's simpler because it's just one truck stop. Okay, now it's time for trucks. The problem with this is the industry won't balance. Why won't the industry balance? Do you want to elaborate on that? We haven't also named the lines, but never mind. Let's buy some vehicles. We're going to go cargo. This one can do all cargo. Carry five in capacity. And goes quite quickly. Has a better loading speed. More emissions. And costs a little bit more to purchase. Has a little bit more of a running cost, but it's going to get there quicker and it's going to deliver more. So let's buy that. Let's do a batch of five and assign them to line one. And then let's do another batch of five. If we can afford it. And assign them to line two. There we go. Off they go. You will get cargo overflow on one of the visits and weights on the other when you max out the rates. Not with the horses, though. You'll get cargo overflow on one of the visits and weights on the other. Hmm. I'm not seeing how that would... What, why? Oh yeah, they're the ones going to the other place. Now in theory, that should be fine. Like like the balance on five on each. Okay, so now we need a train, which I didn't think about. I'd love to actually have the train on the end of the, sh of the platform here. But that's where the level crossing and stuff's going to be. Okay. 
Okay, is it a game setting to enable the um, industries to produce no matter what? Uh, I don't know. Never mind. Uh, hopefully these will... Oh, well, they are producing, aren't they? Look. We've got stuff waiting here already. Train whistle? We, we haven't got a train yet above the line, but I, I will I will give a train whistle for all of our new trucks. There we go. Are you naming anything after your plus this stream? Yes, we are, Fran the Man. We are going to be doing that. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's let's do it. We've got stuff coming in here. Let's get a train in. Uh, I'm going to connect the train up. Where's, where's this? Is this that the inline? That's the inline. We're going to put a, a depot thing here. Rotate. Track. I mean, connection not possible. I don't care if it's not possible. go I like that that's good so what we'll do is we will buy a new vehicle oh we haven't done a line yet new line we're gonna go from this station to that station and back again so this one isn't gonna be a bi-directional route we're gonna do full load on the any on that oh look we've got our first load of um, coming in what? Oh, that's a residential. There you are. Line one, not making a lot of money yet, but I suspect it will do. I wonder if our overflow feature will work. We've got two trucks coming in at the same time there. I don't think that's going to be a problem. It's nice that they're not going to be crossing paths. Also, if it's not modded series, two mines of each will max out the steel completely. Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. So we've got three, but we only need two. So there we go. Look, you can see that they actually spread themselves across the two different stopping places. Nicely getting some good income there. I think we're going to have some nice profit from them. Right. I mean, we could potentially... I don't know. I'm not sure. We've got the line now, so let's get our train. So, let's have a look at the steam locomotives. We want one with good power, which is that one, which is the most expensive one. But I really don't think it's going to be worth it. Wow, that little... Oh, um, yeah, traction effort's a little bit down. I think... Looking at the statistics, I'm going to go with this one. We haven't got the money for it, but that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, and then we're going to get the cargo wagons. So it's going to be... Uh, the one that we need is this one. And let's give it... I mean, it's how many can oh it goes to medium there so that's good one two three four five six seven let's get right so that's one and a half million we're gonna have to borrow a little bit temporarily we need to pay some off earlier so I don't mind too much about that purchase the train and set it to our brand new line three there we go there's the steam train that's your time for your whistle folks that's your time for your whistle. Nice one. Ooh, building up a bit of speed. There we go. Just a reminder, folks, that we do have the monthly giveaways available on the portal now. Feel free to enter those. Uh, tomorrow, we uh, on Friday, sorry, we're going to have an announcement for our charity event, which is going to happen on the 1st of June. And then on Saturday, we've got an open TTD video on the main channel. 
Oh, and after this live stream, we've got a gaming after stream gaming party on Discord. If you haven't got my Discord, go to the website, masterhellish.net. Uh, there's links to the Discord all over the place. Right, so this train's now loading up. Uh, it will take a long time to load up. But I think we are just waiting for our first... Have we, have we got any deliveries from this side yet? Don't think so. No. Ah. Is it because they had further to go? Yes, they do have further to go. Never mind. Never mind. Once this bit's working, we'll go get the wood. I still haven't decided how we're going to do this yet. What do we think, folks? Okay, let's do a bit of drawing. So again, just to reiterate, we've got three forests. One, two, of the three. And we've got to get the wood to this sawmill. Now, we if they were in close proximity, I would probably do all three. Like we did with the coal mines and the iron ore mines. Right, but we only... Because we only really need two, and they're, like, so spread out. Probably only do two. So, what do you think? Two separate lines? Railway lines? We could have a railway line that comes in from here, goes along the coast, and arrives. And then, you can see here, we've got a hill here and a hill there. So maybe we have another line that comes between the two hills and joins up. Further distance equals more road vehicles. That's true, but if it's further distance, trains, right? Surely? Right? Uh, let's have a look at the topography of that. So yeah, it's as I suspected. We've got two big hills here. We can come through this gap and probably bend something quite nicely around the coast of this log yard here. We haven't got a massive amount of money in the bank account because we've just spent it all on road vehicles and trains. Let's see how the lines are doing. I think, is there a button to make this bigger? Can I scroll it? I can scroll it. There we go. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. So, our, our passenger main line is still making the most money. Uh, but, our two new lines are making some good profit. We do need to name them. Yes, and then boats across the lake. We will be doing boats across the lake afterwards. Maybe we'll actually have a decent boat service. Line 3 is making no money yet, but that's, that's to be expected. Okay, let's modify the names of some of these lines okay so this line one is our what 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 so oh right so we got the name of the town and then the type okay so this is this is sure but we have to name this town after a viewer plus subscriber if we're going to be naming these all these stations right let's do that let's do that let's name uh these after the viewer plus subscriber so remember Viewer Plus is what supports us around here. If you want to be able to help out, uh, you can join 62 other people, including uh, Party Piggy, with some fantastic benefits. But uh, let's spin the wheel. See what we get. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be somebody in chat? Tonight, let's find out. Jackamac. Oh, I think, yeah. I, I know Jackamac's very busy at the moment. So I don't think he will be in chat uh, today. But I'm sure Jackamac will be very happy uh, to have uh, a town named after him. So thank you very much, Jackamac, for being a viewer plus subscriber. And we need to name this town after him so for now 
I'm going to call it Jacktown. But if the viewers have a better idea, let me know. Right, line statistics. Line 1, rename. This is Jack Cole. And... Oh, have I got any important messages? Oh. Uh, bear me a second. I need to just double check them. Right. Tell you what, folks. This is a good opportunity for me to fill my water up, stretch my legs and check my messages. I will give you a be right back and I will see you in just over two minutes time okay and then we'll rename these lines and we'll go over and do that wood all right so leave your thoughts and ideas in the chat and i'll be back in just two minutes this content is supported by viewer plus with viewer plus you're directly fueling the passion and projects of master hellish be rewarded with game server access viewer plus discord channels double hellish points exclusive videos and more with various plans to choose from directly fuel the furnace for more thrilling entertainment if you enjoy Master Hellish content, consider supporting today. Yeah, if if our objective today was to produce something that just looked gorgeous, uh, then th this is what we were setting out to do. And this is now the result of what we got. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Okay. So. Oh my goodness. No! I can't die to a rat. Oh my goodness. Try the door when not transpassing. Oh my goodness. Right. Primary objective of today is family. However, it was I was supposed to do an hours live stream, but we were slightly de no, no, no. Ah, oh, damn it! What happened? No idea. I wasn't even there. I wasn't even there. Oh, I lost all my stuff. I lost everything as well. Oh well. my goodness. That's well, a good end for the stream. <laughs> well, there is the end of the live stream. I don't think I've ever driven down this road, so I am... I am taking it steady. I don't think it's going to take as long to get there. I think we're at, we're at least halfway. There's a wolf. There's two of them. Did I run them both over? I think I did. Are there any more about? Uh oh, there's a lake and I have to get across it. Oh, I've got that new ability. Where is it? Yeah. There we are. We will just levitate across the lake. Well, there we go, folks. We are back. Uh, thank you very much uh, for bearing with me during that little break. I've got a little bit of water. Don't want to drink too much. It is relatively late at night. Um, there's some good um, suggestions coming in. Jackton, Jackerville. I'm going to just pause on naming it. Uh, it's to do with Jack, though, so we'll still rename the lions. Uh, and for those of you who weren't here at the beginning of the stream, I will just quickly remind you that tomorrow we've got announcements of the monthly giveaways on social media, but they are available now if you go to portal.masterhalish.net. On Friday, we've got the announcements of the uh, charity live stream that will be happening on June the 1st, but there is already a page on the website. And on Saturday, we will be having a video of OpenTTD on YouTube. Sunday will be a brand new mini uh, Let's Play series on, uh, from my YouTube channel. And then Monday, we'll be back doing Transport Fever again. So lots of things going on, nice and busy. Uh, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. But for now, let's go back to Transport Fever 2. Oh, wait, hang on. After this stream, there's going to be an after-party gaming party on Discord for PUBG. You're welcome to come along and check that out. Right. Ah, oh, you thought the car would glitch out. Uh, no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So we've got Jack Coal. Then we've got Jack Iron. Right. Let's just have a look. So this is iron ore, and it creates steel. Yes, that's Jack Coal. Jack Iron. 
and then this line three is Jack Steel. No, I put steam. <laughs> what happened? My brain just thought something else. I mean, just typo. There we are. Jack Steel. Okay. So at the moment, Jack Steel not doing very well. Okay, but it's only just started. The train hasn't made any deliveries yet. We are going to need some more trucks. Um, we've got hundreds and hundreds waiting there and hundreds and hundreds waiting there. So I think, I don't know how much we can afford. Um, let's have a look. On the Jack Coal line, can I afford to clone the entire set? No. Damn, never mind. Okay, so we've got stuff going in and now this machines factory which, oh god, it all needs naming. Right, Jackoville, Jacktown, let me know what you guys think. Uh, we'll get all the stations and stuff renamed as well. So that's up and going. We need to get the planks in there now, which means this over here. And I didn't see any particular suggestions in the chat, so we're going to go with what I was thinking previously. And I'm going to say... That for some reason we've lost a lot of money. Why have we lost a lot of money? Where's all the money gone? Investments. We've been spending it. Roads positive, rails positive, water isn't, but we don't care. It's investments and a bit of loan interest. So let's let's do a little bit of borrowing. And we're going to look at that topography and try and get a railway line in. So what I'm thinking is that we need to look at the height of the station here. We'll dig through this hillside, which means we are going to be looking at roughly this line here. So our train is going to be wanting to go like this okay um, and it's gonna be wanting oh god cool, that's quite low down okay we're gonna have to come up here to go across there I wonder if I can just connect those two up and whether it'll be fine I mean, it's a relatively high cost. It's not ridiculous. Okay, there we go. So we've got that bendy bit in. We're going to need to bend around this. This one's going to be difficult. There's a hill there right in the way. Alright. Station. Terminus. That's going to cost a good bit. Is it facing in the right direction? Not really. That's more like it. Okay. If I connect this track up, it's not going to work, I don't think. Oh! It did actually work. It puts a little bridge in here. I prefer that to be land. Oh, and it does a tunnel. Oh, it does a tunnel. I don't want a tunnel, I want a dig. Oh, oh, that's a lot more money. Oh, and farmland's removed. I didn't see the farm. Oh, no. Okay, cancel that. We'll come back to that bit. So I'm happy with that. It's just going to take a lot of money. And then let's do this one. So we've got to get from here 
through this gap there. That one looks relatively straightforward, but there is a few bits of road I would prefer to get rid of. That's better. And if we kind of just follow that contour line through the middle here. And then, ooh. Probably going to have to adjust this road. There we go. They're going to complain about that, but we can fix it later. Oh my, that's quite an expensive... Oh no, it isn't. Oh, I see, because we go down to the right land height. Okay, let's put that there. But then we get a little bit of road and it'll be fine. Yeah. So now this station... Oh, it doesn't. Try that again. Road. Road. There we go. Fixed it. Okay. Uh, now I need to fix this road. I wonder if it tunnels. Oh, no, do I need to fix that road? What's it complaining about? Road between towns. Right, okay. I wonder... Uh, yeah, I, I think a tunnel under there is probably best. But it's going to cost a lot of money, right? Oh wait, a bridge. That'd be cheaper. 1,000 something something. What's a tunnel going to cost me? Oh, it won't tunnel. For some reason it won't bend enough to do a tunnel. That's already going to cost more. Right, bridge. We're going with bridge. And we can only just afford it, but whatever. There we are. Now it's not complaining. We do need to make that look nice though. So, uh, upgrade tool. No, no, no. Nope, the town can do it. The town can do it. Nice little weave of track through the, through the hillsides there. Uh, we can afford it as well, which is nice. And then these two tracks need to connect up and connect up to this. I was going to try and put the station down here, but looking at the way the tracks are going to go, I think the station down here is going to be better. So buildings, two track station, uh, the right way round, and then, oh, there's a bit of a hill. Okay, contour lines again, please. So, yeah. We're going to need to average out the two, I think. Okay. Let's put it here. Point it right between those two lines. So they both have to bend the same amount. And then we'll raise it up. Not loads, but... Kind of like a compromise. Well, that's a lot of money. That's even more money. That's a lot of money as well. Hmm. Could have sworn I saw a relatively cheap option there. Oh, there we go. That's cheaper. Okay. I think that's where we're going to have it. Graham, hey, welcome to the stream. Going good, thank you. Going good. We've um, expanded various different um, parts of the network to, to try and produce some money. Uh, that is happening now, and we're starting to build brand new railway lines. This is our second railway line that we've... Well, the other one was kind of in before. Okay, we're, we're doing stuff. It's going well. <laughs> All right, okay, so that's in there. And then I need to connect it up. 
So if we get a piece of road that comes from the end here up to there, that then is in with a sawmill. And in theory, connecting these two lines up should be very easy as well. So one line there hmm, costs a good bit of money, but it's it's okay. And the other line to here. Well, that's much cheaper. Why is one so much cheaper than the other? Oh, because that one's cutting through the land a lot more. So we've got one here that rises up and goes across. And this one cuts down, but it, it kind of needs to. Because the target is further downhill. This one, does it need to rise up? It does, otherwise we're not going to get across there okay. Alright, fair enough. Well, minus 150. Oh my goodness, we've got no money. Where are my trains? Oh, look, look, look. We've got some trains about to come into Nick's town. Hopefully when these trains come in, they'll make us some good money. And then we'll be able to spend it all. Oh. Uh, 75,000 one way. Okay. Um, let's come out of here. We do have a bit of money now. Nope, that's too far. This is where the railway line was building. So let's put that back in. Well, it's cheaper this time. I wonder why it's cheaper this time. Oh, well, never mind. One thing I did want to do is get rid of the lip of this cut through on this side. Just because I don't like the way that looks. So what we'll do is we'll use the level soften terrain tool. We'll get the brush size a little bit bigger. Ah, we haven't got any money. Okay, never mind. And then, we're going to need to get it over here. Oh, has our train made a journey yet? Where's the train? Oh, it's still, is it in the station? Is it still in the station or is it back in the station? Oh, it's made a couple of journeys. Nice. Good. Okay, I mean, it's not in profit yet. Uh, it's the... Oh. oh, no, it's the only thing not in profit. Oh my goodness, our boats are making money. That's probably just a coincidence, right? The Jack Coal and Jack Iron services are making good money. We could probably do with getting some more road vehicles on them. Uh, the, train, the train service is doing good. It's all full. All those trains are full. Maybe we need more more trains or more carriages. Right, let's have a quick look at that. So there's the train just leaving the station. There's still four people that want to go to Nick's town. Okay, interesting. Oh, that's the other direction. There's nobody waiting. Oh, waiting to. Oh, there was a couple of people waiting to go to Anvil. Okay, is there any more trains that's just left the station? This station's just been uh, just had a train visit, and there's 39 people waiting to go down the line. Okay. Right. Maybe we don't need to increase the number of carriages on the train right now. Maybe... Oh, there they are full, though, look. Ugh. Okay, the trains are full. The frequency is okay. Could, do, could be better. We need to upgrade some vehicles. That's true. Definitely need to upgrade vehicles. Ugh. Maybe we'll do a load of upgrading next time, eh? We'll do the big hellish upgrade. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, bear with me a second. Okay. Cool. Um... Okay, we need to spend money to make money. And at the moment, the services that are making the most money are is the is the main line train service. I'm going to ignore the boats because they keep jumping up and down. Oh, Jack Steele made some money. All the lines are currently in profit. It won't stay that for long. Oh, there you go. It's immediately back down to the bottom of again. Um, but Jack Cole and Jack Iron are doing very well and they're sustaining their lead at the top. Okay, those boats keep jumping up and down. Yeah, adding one more carriage could be a good idea. Okay, let's have a look. Let's go to vehicles. Let's go to the main line. So there's this one. And we can do uh, edit all vehicles. We, oh, the comp which what if what if we modify them to get rid of the rubbish ones, the rubbish wagons? So I don't know how many of the capacity of these are because they're not available anymore. But if we add that on there, that goes. Oh, hang on, let's get rid of all these. So these have a capacity of eight. And then the new car has a capacity of 11. But it's very expensive. Like, if I want a slightly higher capacity, it's going to cost me 1.7 million to replace them. Uh, so I'm going to cancel that. And what if we add one to the back of each one? So that ups the capacity. And the pulling power, power there is still quite good. It's going to cost us 1.1 million. So I think... If we max the loan out again, you know, spend spend money to make money and then we modify those mainline vehicles Oop. there we go so where are they now let's find one here's one coming over the bridge so we've got a train with a modern more modern carriage on the back that carries more people kind of like that on the back actually i think it looks pretty good um and now if we look at the line manager, you can see that our capacity for the line is 177 from 144, I think it was. That's really good. Um, so I think we the next thing we should spend money on is maybe more vehicles for Jack, Coal and Iron. Because those ones are doing really well and we've only got five. So, uh, ooh, there we go. If we pack coal, select all, and clone. And then we go jack iron and select all and clone. We've still got a good amount of money, investment money. Okay. So I expect those two to drop a little bit down the profit charts just because those vehicles have got to get to their starting points pick up their first delivery and then come back again but then I'll expect those two to ri uh, rise back up the charts again um oh where's the train there it is. It's not doing great. It's not filling up quick enough. Oh, I suppose this this industry needs to ramp its production up. We definitely... Oh, and something else. 
because the coal's closer, we're sh we've got an iron ore shortage. So it might be better to add another five iron ore, but not coal, because they're going a longer distance. Okay? So if we have a look... Mm, there. The coal ones are going an average of about that far. With the iron ore ones are going from here all the way down there. Okay. And, you know, that's about twice as far. Okay. So, we probably need twice the vehicles. To keep up with it. So, if we have a look at Jack Iron... Uh, we're going to double the vehicles, I think, because they're... Mm, do we do double the vehicles because they're going twice as far? Do we double the vehicles? Yes, we do. There we are. There we go. So now we've got a load more coming in. And that should help production, which means our train will get more quicker which means the train will be in profit more. Uh, oh, we have just, we've done nothing over here with this wood service. We could actually be, oh no, we need the tunnel. I suppose I would still have to pay for the train. So we're not, we haven't got wood yet. I want to get wood by the end of the live stream, okay? We've got a lot of people waiting over here. Where are the trains? How much would it cost me to clone one of those trains on the main line? Main line, here we go. Uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, I know, I know. If we do edit selected, it tells us the value. Uh, 2.1 2 million. I think that would probably be worth it. I think it would. Right, now, our road lines. Uh, did we colour them correctly? So the bus services are in blue. Uh, the coal service, that wants to be like black. And the iron service wants to be orange. Oh, we got food as orange. Okay, let's change food to yellow. Because the wheat is more yellowy than it is orangey. And the iron ore is more orange than orange. Um, and then this railway line here for delivering the steel. Have we got like a grey? That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Oh, what's that? Oh, I did the wrong thing. I meant to do this one, Jack Steel. What's this? Anvil Tim. Oh, it's the sea trip. Oh, that's passenger. That should be blue. Ah, passenger boat and passenger bus. Are they going to be the same? They could be a different blue. Like a dark blue, a water blue. There we go. We've got it. We've got it. Okay, so in theory we're not delivering here yet because we need our we need to finish this line which is going to cost us quite a bit of money then we need our trains which is going to cost us even more money and then we need our boats but we can get the ports in right yeah let's get the ports in the boat ports so oh my goodness they're not cheap as well um Let's, yeah, let's pop it in this cove. There we go, there's one. And then the other one is over here. There we go. And then we can just connect them up with a little bit of road. So bit of road. There we 
go. So now, there we go. The port is connected to the machine's factory. And then the other port needs connecting as well. Oh, no, that's a console, apparently. Don't want the console. Go away, console. A uh, little bit of road. And then up to here. Yep, they're all connected. We can add a line between these two locations. Looks good to me. Now, are we going to do... Now, passengers over water can't be blue. We're doing wood, which has to be brown. Because it's over water, does it need to be a darker brown? I want to kind of get rid of this, this sand dune. It's in the way. Never mind. Yeah, I'm happy with them. They look good. We can configure these. Uh, you can put these great big docky bits on them. Oh, hang on. Do we have to? No. We can I get a large dock. Costs a lot of money. I do want to get some nice large docks on this later. Uh, but we also need... Oh, pedestrian entrance. Oh, that's cute. Um, what about where I get my shippy bits? Oh, I'm in configure. Not ships. There we go. Shipyard. So, let's pop the shipyard over here. Let's have it facing the right way around. It's only 72,000, which is not a lot. There we are. On the edge of the water, with some uh, amongst the trees. Jobs are good. Right, even though we spent that money, we've still got 1.2 million in the bank account. Which is very encouraging. So I think we ought to start this railway line and see if we can get this wood going. So, track from here to there. With a tunnel is half a million... Boom. Oh no, wait. Misclicked. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. There we go. And then we need to be able to add trains to these lines. I was thinking about putting a depot in the middle here and then connecting it to both of them. Does that sink down? It sinks down and goes back up. Um... There we go. Um, which we won't do. We won't put one there. Mm, maybe we need to. There's not really room for a depot anywhere else. Okay, what if we have a depot and it allows to go between both lines? So we do a little crossover here. And then we come out like this. Can I then put the building on the end of that? Yes. In a, in a divot. We can decorate it with trees. Nobody will know it's there. Except for that little hole. Oh my goodness. Okay. What can I do? Can I put a little bit of land here? Oh, I've run out of money. Did I go a bit high? I went a bit high. Okay, soften that. There we go, there we go, there we go. It's fine. We can paint it, we put some trees around it, it'll be fine. Okay, so now we haven't got any money again, but the railway line for both of these wood places are in, and the shipping line is in. So we just need to buy two trains and a ship. And that'll all be good. Uh, let's check the rest of the lines and see what's making money and what is not. So, our brand new line... No, not our brand new line. Our brand new trains... Uh, they're not brand new. The carriages we put on our old trains are, are full already. 
<laughs> that investment's probably going to um, pay off sometime soon. Our Jack Steel train is doing much better now. Where's it gone? Here it is. It, that's because it's filling up immediately, as soon as it gets there. Uh, production is going up and the amount transported is going up. And then the other two lines over here, Jack Coal and Jack Iron are doing really well. Jack Iron is actually doing amazing. It's bringing in so much money. Wow. Why is our bank account so terrible? We, we've paid quite a lot of loan. Oh, we've been spending a lot of money, though, haven't we? Over the last three years, we've spent nearly four million. So that's all right, isn't it, eh? That's not too bad. Uh... Let's check this. Okay, that's not good. There we go. That's good, that's good, that's fine, that's good. All right. So, railroad income is not great. Oh, it is, it's okay now. Water's doing good. We can't borrow any more money. That's why our loan's so high. Uh, but we are making money. Can confirm. Here we've got uh, way too many, um, way too many things. Again here, way too much coal, way too much coal. If we have a look here, you can see that we're getting money left, right and centre from these vehicles dropping these off. Which is nice. Literally left, right and centre. I am going to decorate this though. I did like the idea of decorating the whole thing. So we decorate up to the road. Is this sort of decoration free? Doesn't appear to be affecting my money. There we go. Now it all looks like it belongs, doesn't it? Look at that. Tell you what, if we soften it as well, that would make it look better. Get rid of those zigzaggy bits from around the edge. Anvil Bay oil wells are closing. Okay, don't really care about that, I don't think. Okay. So we're paying for the infrastructure down here, but not using it yet. Holding shift, you can paint over the depots as well. You what? I didn't know that one. Sometimes people give me tips that I'm like, oh yeah, I knew that, I knew that. But then every now and then you're like, oh, that sounds like a tip. Let's give it a go. So holding shift, you can paint over the, the depots as well, like over these bits. Oh... Look at that. Oh, oh, if that's the case. What if I do... Hang on. It... It's just doing it. Is it like a toggle? I'm not sure. Um, 
<laughs> wow, oi, says Brandon. Haven't played Transport Fever 2 in a while, but didn't you put passenger terminals to where you don't have trains running yet? No, I don't think so, Chris. There's a little bit of not brilliantness there. So I think I'm going to stick with the darker one. That one's too dark. Oh yes, I like... Mm, do I like that one? Oh, I can't decide now. Oh, look at that. That's posh. Oh, you can get some nice straight lines by using the arrow keys for painting. There we go. That'll do for now. Yeah, I had no idea you could do that, but now I can't stop doing it. <laughs> anyway, that looks much better now. We might even be able to do some other decorating. Decorating? We've got, like, fences and things. I can't remember now. So we've got all of these painting tools. Okay, so they're just the different terrain. Oh, assets. Silly me. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, boulders, stones, fences. What does that do? Settings. Asset railing. I suppose I could put railings around the whole thing. I wonder if these attached. No, oh, they don't attach. There's railing and railing end, but they don't go the other way unless there's... no. Oh, you'd spend a while though, wouldn't you? Making sure that those railings lined up. I'm not sure I could spend all that time. Railing, railing end. Is the railing the other way? Seriously, they've got railing in one direction but not the other. Is it oh do I need to just turn it round and it'll flip? I don't know. Let's have a look. Railing end. I'm not so sure I like that. It's like you can only end the railings in one direction. But we can put little railings like like this. Just to do a tiny bit of decoration. Like a little nod to decoration. And maybe we can do more in the future. See that that starts that's starting to look like one thing now. There we go. And then, what we need to do is, like, on the edge of this road, we need to put a little bench just here, so that you can sit on the bench and admire the brilliance. There we 
There you go. There you are. I've got a little bench now, so you can admire admire this. I like that. We put a lot of a lot of effort into this today, uh, and what I don't like is that's dodgy. Oh no, I don't like that. Ugh. Hmm. Is there a way we can fix that? Not sure. I'll have a think about it. Oh, we got a new steam train available. Might use that next time. And new six wheeler carts. And new tank carts. And a new flat thingy. And new other boxy things. And other stuff. Yeah. Oh my goodness, there's all sorts. And a new industry. Right, how are our lines doing? All of them are doing brilliant except the ships, but we don't care about the ships. The Jack Steel is actually starting to do really well. Um, do we need any more? Oh my goodness, money's coming flying again. Can I uh, modify this train? Manage vehicle. Modify. So, for cargo, we are using... Oh, we could upgrade it. Why didn't I add any more? Is it because it makes it go slower? Yes. It does make it go slower. But what if we get rid of all of these? That's a capacity of 28. And we put the new one on. capacity for I think maybe we, we just forget about that let's let's not modify it uh, we could put some more of these flat boys on a oh, one more yeah go on let's put one more on there we go right we've got three million in the bank account we will pay that off uh, with well, some of the loan off but we need to get these uh, new wood trucks trains going where are they here here these wood trains now unfortunately these wood trains are gonna end up start at the wrong place but that's only going to happen once. Let's get a brand new line on the way. So we're going to go from here to there. And the colour is going to be for wood. So we will do it brown. Yeah. And at the beginning we're going to full load. And then we'll do another new line from here to there. I don't know if I got the right one there for full load. I'll check in a second. And that one's going to be brown as well. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Have I put passenger terminals on? You're right. You are right. I've done passenger. Nobody else noticed that. No. Yeah, I, I, nobody noticed. Let's get rid of it. Might be able to do a uh, special switcheroo where you configure the platforms. Yeah, you might be able to configure the platforms. All right, let's try again. Wow, that was a slightly costly mistake, wasn't it? Cargo terminus, one track. Uh, rotate. Is that one track fitting on there? Yeah, collision. Oh no. Right, there we go. Well, that's that bit done. Let's do two tracks over here. Uh, whoop. That bit's fine. I would have noticed at some point. That is true. It's not as if I would never have noticed. Uh, let's rotate these round. Stick it on the end there. That's not actually connected now. So we need a little street down here. Or here. There we go. And now we need to fix this road bridge. Because otherwise, at the minute, the only thing they can do is put their foot down and really go for it. <laughs> so... Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. It's working fine now. Good. Fixed. I feel happy about that. We've got three million in the bank, so we can buy a vehicle. We can get our a steam locomotive. Now this one is 
really expensive, but as fantastic power. I think we're going to really save our money to begin with and get the train that's half the speed and upgrade later. And then for the cargo, we will be getting the one that carries wood, which is this one. And we can get pretty much as much as we want on it. How long are the platforms? Uh, they are. Oh. Must be something that tells us how long the terminals are or something. No? Alright, well, how long are the ones that we were putting on? 160 metres, these ones. Yep, that's pretty much standard, so let's do that again. New vehicles. Locomotive. Add wagons. Cargo. Until we get to 160 metres. Okay, that's too big. That's the maximum size, and we can do it. Do we start with the full-length vehicle? Oh, 5.2 million! Oh, no, 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 no. I can't afford that. Um... How much have we got? We've, we've got 3.7. So how much is half? Nearly... Well, let's look at almost two. Oh, that's only four wagons? What about the cheaper wagons? I know they're not as good. But I can afford, I can afford to get a capacity of 44... I put the wrong ones in, but you get the. Um... There we go. I can get a capacity of 44 for 2 million, or I can get a capacity of 24 for 2 million. So I'm going with capacity. There we go. And we'll change it later. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll upgrade later, later, Chris. So we'll allocate this one to... I'm not sure which one of those lines it is. Why is the line not showing up? Well, it doesn't matter which one. We've got one to line two and one to line three. So we'll clone this train... And we'll allocate one of those trains to line two. And we'll allocate the other one to line three. Does that work? Can it not figure it out? Because it needs to go to that station, then out again? Oh dear. Let's check those lines. Oh, the stations have all been redone. Okay, fine. Line two is here to here. Line three, here to here. Full load there. Full load there. And then I think the Trains are leaving now? So there's one of them. Do I need signals for this to work? Or will it? No, it will just work. There we go. So both of those trains are on their way now. Which is nice. Means we can... Look, we've got wood piling up already. Uh, the line number colours are slightly different though, so let's modify this one. Is it that one? Nope. I don't get it. Why is that one a different brown to that one? 
I don't know. Anyway, line one, I think, is this port down here. Yeah, it is. So this is going to be the plank service from Heartland. Did we need to do two town namings? Viewer plus subscribers. All right, Chris. Take care. Thank you very much for coming by. We'll see you again. We'll just call it Planks for now, and we'll upgrade the name later. Logs 1 and Logs... Oops. Logs 2. There we go. Yeah, we'll have to upgrade the names pretty soon, but let's, get, let's have a look about getting a ship, because we just had our first two trains deliver, and now we've got loads of money. Oh my goodness, is this a better version of OpenTTD? Like, one or two times a live stream. I can understand why people ask this question. I definitely need to make a video about this. Depends what you mean by better. Yeah, that's my answer. Okay, I'm not going to cheap out that much. If you think that a game that is free is infinitely better than a game that's not free, then no, this game is not better. If you think that these graphics look better than the OpenTTD graphics, then this game's better. Uh, there are a few mechanics which are a bit different, but the basic principle is the same. All right, let's get a ship. Cargo ship. We can't do that one, can't do that one, can't. No, that one we can use. We can use that one, and we can use that one. Okay, so basically it's between these two that one goes a little bit faster has a little bit more on the compartment size and is considerable well, not considerably more expensive it's got a lot more power so I'd hope it would get up to speed a lot better it loads a little slower and does more emissions I'm not sure I can put these down. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, I play both games and I enjoy both games. So, there we go. I guess I should make a video. I'm sorry. The, that video to compare both these two games has been on my to-do list for you would not believe how long. Okay, we're going to go with a slightly more expensive one because there's a number of advantages. There we go. Now, ooh, unable to find path to stop. Oh, hang on a second. We've got a problem. So, uh, vehicles, not by vehicles. This ship. No path for big ships, yes. So these docks are only, harbors are only for the small ships. We need to build a large dock. So a large cargo dock like this, or like that, and it costs half a million for each one. Oh, that's expensive. I should have gone smaller ships. The docks do have a landing stage, but not for larger ships, Fran the Man. So I think at this point, I'm going to sell my ship because I'll get nearly all my money back. In fact, I've got all my money back because the game is paused. And we're going to go with the slightly smaller ship. It's going to save us money on the ships. We're going to need a couple more ships, uh, but we won't need to buy the docks and then we'll upgrade later. There we go. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting wood. It happened. Oh, hang on. Where are you going? Don't go there. What are you doing going that way? You want to go here first. Well, um, 
There we go. Um, I'm not sure what this is on about. Terminal not compatible. Oh, did I, I click the train station? Okay, go to the port, then go here, and at this port, full load if available. Why is it going ridiculous? Could not connect all stations. Yes, you can. Why not? There's the port. There's the other port. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. That was the train line. Oh dear. Uh, which one's logs two? This train is on logs one. This is logs two. It's going from here to there. Full load there. This is it. This is planks. And we've got a full load at the port. There we go. And then the ship. Is it going on planks? It is going on planks. I mean, I wish it was facing the right direction, but okay. And then the planks line has got the port first, so I don't know why that didn't work. Let's get another ship. Planks, ship, clone. Right, is the new ship going to go in the right place? Let's find out. Nope, apparently it's going to go off that way. Great. At least our trains are making money. I spent a good deal, a bit of money recently, and things are going quite well. Planks is not doing great. Logs is not doing great yet because I, I interrupted Logs too. Uh, but Logs, wow, Logs one's doing really well. Jack Steele's doing good. The passenger line is doing okay. Maybe we need another train on it. I'm not sure. Mm, they're all doing pretty good. We need to do some upgrading. That's for sure. We need to pay off the loan. That's for sure too. The only thing that isn't really doing very good is this uh, ship service. But maybe if we modify the type of ship. So if we manage these two vehicles and do replace for passenger ships and we get a like a faster better passenger ship that's slower passenger i mean they're all pretty rubbish <laughs> uh and that's a large one which we'd have to upgrade the dock oh that's a small one goes a little bit faster Gets up to top speed quicker and carries a little bit more people. It's not much difference. Maybe what if what? Let's try. Should we retire one of these ships? Let's retire one of the ships, and we are going to sell the selected vehicle. Let's see if just having one ship going backwards and forwards makes us more money there. Okay, so our first ship should be back now. There we go. Picking up the planks and off it goes. Right then. I want a prediction about how much money this ship's going to make. For this journey, what's the income going to be? 
Okay, it's going from this place over here. It's bringing these planks across the water. It's going down over that way. Um, it's got 70 planks on board. And there are already 43 planks ready to go. Transportation is terrible. Uh, but that means that we will finally be making machine uh, parts, I think. So next time, we'll be, we'll be delivering them to the towns. And that's going to be quite a challenge, okay? Because we've got to deliver them to four different towns. Is it four towns or more? Four towns. Okay, we've got to go from down here where the machine shop is. And we've got to come out... And we've got to get somehow to Jebulus City, down to Fed next to Sea, Anvil Bay, oh, and over here. Okay, so we've got all four of those towns to be able to deliver these two. And I'm not sure how we're going to do it. Maybe we could use this island. Like, if we have a railway line that comes round and then goes over into the island and then there's a truck stop that picks up the things and then takes them out to the three different towns I could work then maybe we don't do Jebula City because we're already supplying three towns I'm not sure that we can supply more than three towns with that we'll have to look into it Oh, hang on. Oh, no. It made its trip. It made its trip, but... The income... was 271k. So, James, you were wrong. Raphael, you was wrong. Mr. Steed was wrong. Chegzo Kid was wrong. Brand New was wrong. Fandom Man was wrong. The person who guessed the highest was nearly triple uh, no nearly a third uh, okay just it was way off you're all way off wow that was good wow ship making money do we need more ships I think we do how much does each ship carry 70 and we've already got 35 there and transported is at 30 we need another one I, I, we need another one. Clone. There we go. Off you go. I have no idea. Ah, I think I know, I know why they go that way first. If you look at the line. Oh no, that one didn't go the wrong way first. Yeah. That was bad. I'm going to use some of that money to get rid of this island because it's annoying me. Oh, bigger... Is that the biggest brush size we've got? I've sp I've spent a lot of money on that. <laughs> Did it affect the line? Ah yes, the lines now go across there. And they cross over, actually, as well, which is nice. Good. Math, not even once. Nah, math bad. M math, quick math. No, 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 no good. No, no good. Wow. Well, there we go, folks. Let's do a quick recap. We came down here and we was, like, fiddling around with this for ages. But just look at the fantastic flow that we've got going on here none of these road vehicles cross each other's paths as they come through and deliver mountains of mountains of goodies then we put a train on here which needs upgrading because there's steel lying around everywhere and it goes off down the line and delivers over here there's the train just went past it there's the train Zoom in down the line at like warp 10.
into the station which is full of steel, loads up and then it's straight off again. It can't keep up with it. It just can't keep up with it. And uh, after that, and those road vehicles, we came over here uh, to start working on the wood. We put the... No, that's too far. Here. Put the two new railway lines in. We've got loads of logs down here waiting. Uh, loads of logs over here, I presume, too. No, but the train's only just leaving the station. We, what we can do is double up these lines and put passing place uh, as a big passing place so that we can have one train going in each direction uh, once we've got enough money to do that. And then we're coming down here and those, all that wood's been turned into planks which we're now shipping across here, making an absolute killing by the... Well, it's only delivered once. But if we look at the line, those ships are making a good amount of money. And everything is making money, uh, even our rubbish bus services. Uh, the main line, the main train line is making the most amount of money. Then we've got our logs, planks, steel, making the, uh, the next section, closely followed by our iron and our coal with a bit of food in there too. Isn't that fantastic, okay? This is the reason we all cal carry calculators in our po pockets. Take that mass teachers, yeah. You won't have a calculator with you. I mean, to be honest, like even though the math teachers were wrong with that sentence, they're still right. You still need to know how to apply yourself. You try calculating how many slabs you need across a garden with a triangular patio. You know, you need to know this stuff. So there we go, folks. Um, I think that is all the upgrades that we were going to be doing today. We've got our wood. The wood has been delivered. It's coming in with our steel. And next time we will take that wood and steel, we'll get our machine parts, and we will deliver them. Which will be brilliant. And look at the money coming in now to the point that we can... Oh no, I'm borrowing too much. We can repay the loan and stop paying so much loan interest. And I'm really pleased with that. I am really pleased with that. We're going to be doing some fantastic stuff all over here. Uh, now, for those of you who are interested, that is not the end of tonight's activities. Uh, we have a gaming after party on my Discord, and the link to my Discord is all over my website. And uh, we're going to be playing some PUBG for a while. So if you want to see that, or maybe even take part, come over and take a look. Uh, and if you want to know more about me, uh, all that sort of information is on my website too. So you can head over and have a look at that. And of course, uh, what else? What else can I tell you about? Oh, if you want to look at all the different series and videos and things that and stuff that I've done, um, you can have a look. I'll send a link out in chat to my website where there is a page for my playlists, which I'll be updating soon too. Oh, there we go, folks. Oh, that was a good session. Spent a lot of money, made a lot of money, made some cool lines, learned some things too. I really enjoyed it and I hope you did too. Remember, if you're not watching live or if you want to just switch over to the comment section rather than the live chat, leave all your thoughts, ideas and questions down in there and I will see you at the weekend for two videos and then we'll be back streaming Transport Fever 2 on Monday. Take care folks, I will see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>